Unless you live on another planet, you probably know what a screen of death is. You know when your computer device displays an indication signaling its death? It is probably the most quintessentially scary thing every technology using human can agree on. These are the most iconic screens of death ever. People who have owned an Xbox 360 may be familiar with the red ring of death displayed at the edges of the on button. Though it's not actually a ring, the light's actually a pattern. One light on the bottom left signals hardware failure, which is usually the power supply, hard drive, or RAM, which is pretty bad. Two on the left just means overheating. Three, the scariest, mean serious hardware failure, so like the actual motherboard is broken. Four, for some reason, just mean your AV connections are bad. This death screen, I guess, isn't really as popular as the rest on this list, probably because Xbox was sort of the inferior gaming console back in the day and even now i guess it was pretty overshadowed by the sony playstations which were always the greatest but really if you owned an xbox back then you really did not want this to happen on yours up next we have the ps2's red screen of death probably the most scariest on this list as it literally looks like the entrance to hell the problem was usually just a discreet error but it managed to scare and mentally traumatize the out of many 2000s kids, especially at night when it was time for a quick game set. This screen would show up on boot and then a soul chilling core memory would form inside the person's mind. Scavenger 6 from YouTube gives a very accurate explanation as to why this is really scary. According to him, the screen sometimes didn't just mean a discrete error, it was usually something worse. You're greeted by an angry red hellscape, a musical decrescendo that sounds as if your very life force is being sapped away, and the sound of a cold wind sweeping across a barren wasteland with precious little to obstruct it. All you wanted to do was travel to another world world and dream a new dream and what you got instead was the death of that dream pretty boy to go to. Back then, this was really the stuff of nightmares. This could be likened to a fate worse than death. That's how insanely scary and very traumatizing this was. The Nintendo DS is probably the most unique dead screen, as the screen is literally pitch black, with no indicators at all unlike the PS2 or the Xbox. The only thing that told you that your DS was still alive was a couple lights at the corner which tell if the thing was on. This usually happens to people who open and change the contents within their DS, otherwise known as modding, which makes it quite a rare occurrence because not everyone does this to their DS. The problem was known to be caused by some loose components in the motherboard after it may have been tampered with. Components like the camera or the battery. Up next we have something that most of you Apple users may be familiar with. The spinning wheel of death or the spinning pinwheel is the way Apple computers tell you it's about time to upgrade. This usually means the hard drive, CPU and RAM are having an aneurysm, which happens when you're running some pretty demanding softwares like the video editor Premiere Pro. It does disappear after some time though, along with the active application and the work you've done on it, something that you absolutely do not want to happen. Unlike the others, people seem to be more frustrated than scared of this problem because the people who experience this the most are video editors who have made the, might I say, unwise choice to use an Apple computer to edit their videos with Premiere. Because, you see, Adobe Premiere Pro is known to not work properly on Macs, and this has led to many crashes and lost work and frustration. <laughs> The most iconic and well-known death screen of them all is the Windows Blue Screen of Death, or the Basad, as it is commonly known. This screen can be caused by many things, usually hardware or serious driver issues, which makes it very scary, as it sometimes means your PC is totaled and you gotta buy a new one. The Basad is usually accompanied by some flavored text, which tells you that your PC ran into a problem and is gonna have to restart, something that doesn't or takes very long to happen. The Basad has become so popular and definitive that any death indicator or error message that's blue from any device can be called a besod. There is even a subreddit to showcase its examples called pbesod or public blue screens of death. There's also the normal besod subreddit where people try to solve the besod, I guess. Overall, I think death screens are a pretty interesting aspect of computer devices like game consoles and PCs, and you can really see that they've embedded themselves in technological culture. It's pretty interesting as these were obviously made to be obscure and hidden and turned out to be otherwise. So in conclusion, I think that's the end of the video.